Little Sweet A Who Doesn't Like It Author, My Favorite Plum Wine Copy Originally Titled Pheromone Temptation Su Yu Shou Reincarnated Into The ABO World After His Death And Became A High Quality Alpha. Influenced by the concept of the previous life, he never thought that the passion period would have any effect on him after all, as an upright young man with good three views, how could he be lured by pheromones to defeat the weak what about the Omega? Then he became the one who was knocked down underscore, underscore he hated the arrogant and arrogant alpha to the extreme, and because of the unfair treatment he received since childhood, his personality was extreme, and he was extremely disgusted with his own gender. Because of the disorder caused by the abuse of depressants, which can occur anytime and anywhere, he decided to remove the omega gland. But he didn't want to, on the eve of waiting for the surgery, he met Su Yu Zhou who was approaching the period. Small theater, in the beginning. Su Jian, as a big boss oh, I will never let any A mark. Later. Su Jian, temporary marking is not impossible. However. Number my baby A won't be temporarily marked, how can I break it? It's a hurry to wait online number edible guidelines, ABO cookies, oh a love let go of yourself, focus on sugar, and be sweet. Cute demoning, the story of a fierce so who grew up against the wind from oppression and discrimination and a sweet A that is unique in the world not affected by the ABO concept. There may be a combination of AA and AB, the text is unknown and the scenes are concentrated in the extras content tags, fantasy space search keywords, protagonist, Su Yu Zhou, Su Jian supporting role, others, Abio, Pheromone, Sweet Pet, OA One Sentence Introduction, BA Zong O Attack VS When Run A Shao Intention, Be Firm and Not Be Disturbed by External Things. Dad, I'm out. Su Yu Zhou sat at the entrance, put on his shoes, got up and said to the man standing behind him. The man is petite, handsome, and even a little soft. He is in his forties this year and looks in his early thirties. He frowned slightly, and looked at his young son with some worry, do you really need dad to accompany you? Just as Su Yu Zhou was about to speak, a slightly majestic female voice rang out. He's eighteen years old, he should do this kind of thing himself, don't get used to him. Accompanying this voice, a tall figure came out of the living room. This is Su Yu Zhou's mother in this life, Su Lan. Papa Su is still frowning, I'm not afraid that something will happen to the boat. The first period is not a trivial matter. Isn't it still half a month away? What can go wrong with an alpha? Su Lan said impatiently, don't worry about it, your own body is not taken care of. The medicine is on the coffee table for you, come in and eat. Lindsay I caught a cold the day before yesterday and is not well today, so Solan specially took leave to take care of him at home. Although Solan is usually a bit big A, but at critical times, she is still very gentle and considerate to her partner. Su Yu Zhou shrugged, smiled, and comforted his sensitive and vulnerable Omega father, and then listened to the Alpha Mother's stern words, and then waved out the house. At the door of the house, the car he just called was already waiting. Master, Central Hospital, thank you. Okay. The taxi started slowly, Su Yu Zhou turned his head to look out the window, reflected in the transparent glass, was a small single-family house with a garden, and it was also the home where he lived for 18 years. In his last life, he was just an ordinary person. After graduating from college, he joined his favorite company. As a result, he worked as a social animal for a year, and died in a traffic accident on a business trip. When he regained consciousness again, he had come to this strange world and became the newborn son of Lin Zi and Sol Lan. Probably because of incomplete physical development in childhood. At that time, he didn't have much memory of his previous life, but he often saw some scenes in his dreams. It was not until I entered puberty that I completely remembered the past. Such an adventure also made his concept conflict with the world. In Su Yu Zhou's cognition, the world should be divided into male and female genders, but this world is not. The world is divided into three genders, Abio. Under these three genders, 
there are two different appearance characteristics of men and women. Yes, for people in this world, men and women are just different physical characteristics. They prefer to use pheromones, that is, ABO to distinguish gender. This used to throw Suyuzhou into chaos. In his concept, dad should be the same gender as him, and mom and sister are the same gender. But in fact, as an alpha, he and his mother and sister are of the same sex, and Omega's father, they are completely opposite sex. For the young Suyuzhou, it was completely incomprehensible, especially when Solan tried to take him and his sister to take a parent-child bath together. Recalling the struggle she made when she was a child not to take a bath with her mother, Suyuzhou couldn't help covering his face. Probably the concept in his previous life was so profound that after living here for 18 years, he still can't tell the gender of other people through pheromone. Fortunately, O's physique is quite different from Ab's, and it's easy to distinguish from appearance. As for Ab, the pheromone is A, the pheromone is B, whether it is an adult or a child, with such a basis for judgment, he has come over successfully over the years. Just as Suyu Zhou was thinking about it, his car had arrived at the door of the hospital. After getting off the car, I went to the door of the infirmary where I made the appointment. It was probably a working day, and there were not many people in the corridor. Suyu Zhou sat down on the bench honestly, sent a message to Dad Su to say he was safe, then put away the phone and looked around boredly. The door of the infirmary is made of frosted glass, translucent, and you can vaguely see the figure sitting on the chair inside. The back should be a tall man. I don't know what happened. The doctor looked at his case report and frowned. Mr. Su, have you thought about it? In the infirmary. The doctor frowned and confirmed, are you really going to have a gland removal surgery? The man sitting in front of him has black hair and black eyes, and his handsome features are full of vigor. He is wearing a dark blue suit, with wide shoulders, narrow waist and long legs, and a height of 1.9 meters. When he just walked in from the door, the doctor did not expect that the other party would be an Omega. But judging from the case report of the other party, there is indeed nothing wrong, and this Mr. So also requested an Omega gland removal operation. What's the problem? Su Qian raised his eyebrows to look at him, and didn't think it was a big deal. How can there be no problem? Seeing his indifferent appearance, the doctor was speechless. He said earnestly, gland removal, whether it is for Alpha or Omega, will cause irreparable damage, which may lead to shortened lifespan. You are a top Omega, even more so. If you really don't want to accept marriage, you can continue to use inhibitors, no need to make fun of your body. The doctor has read countless people, and it is natural to see why the Omega in front of him wants to remove the gland, not to mention the clues from his medical record report long-term use of inhibitors, 27 years old and no alpha mark, not even temporary. This is absolutely uncommon in today's society where distribution is guaranteed after graduating from college at the age of 22. At this moment, the doctor watching the case suddenly stopped. Due to the long-term use of inhibitors, the period is disordered, and the body has developed a certain resistance to the inhibitors, in other words, the inhibitor is almost useless for this Mr. Su. Su Qian pursed her lips slightly. Listening to the doctor's whisper, what sounded in his ear was Grandpa's regretful voice, Why are you an Omega? Yes, even if it is not Alpha, Beta is fine, why is it Omega? This gender is doomed that no matter how many achievements he has achieved, he cannot be truly recognized. Omega is destined to get married, destined to accept the Alpha mark, otherwise it may cause unimaginable trouble if she accidentally enters the period. However, is it possible for him to accept the of Alpha, surrender to the pheromone of Alpha, and even lose himself full of mating mating like other Omegas? Of course not. So. Please help me remove the gland, I will bear all the consequences of this. The man looked at the doctor with a firm look. His powerful aura and power make people unable to refuse his request, and even forget the fact that he is an Omega. The doctor looked at him and finally sighed, Mr. Su, 
go back and think about it. One month. He said, if you still haven't changed your mind after a month, come over for a medical examination and I'll arrange the surgery for you. Now I'll go ahead and give you some inhibitors. Outside the hallway. Su Yusho couldn't hear what was being said in the infirmary, but he could see the doctor sighing with deep regret, and he didn't know what happened. After watching for a while, he looked away, holding the backpack in both hands, playing with the zipper on the backpack in a boring way. Not long after, the door of the infirmary opened, the sound of heels hitting the tiles sounded, and a tall man walked out from inside. Su Yusho looked up. The first thing that catches his eye is a dark blue suit tailored by a man, wearing a famous watch on his wrist, and wearing a famous brand leather shoe under his feet, a pair of high-class successful people. He is 1.9 meters tall, a little taller than 1.85 meters. He looks handsome and looks like an A. And it's a smashing A. Su Yusho came to a conclusion in his heart, and then he smelled a hint of chestnut scent. Recalling the smell of roasted chestnuts, he swallowed subconsciously, and his beautiful eyes kept watching the man pass by him. Pat something fell out of the man's pocket, and Gululu rolled under the bench where Su Yuzhou was sitting. Su Yuzhou watched helplessly, waited for the man to walk a few steps and confirmed that he did not notice, and then shouted, Sir, wait. The man stopped and turned to look back. Su Yuzhou raised his head just in line with his line of sight. A man's black eyes are deep and charming. From this perspective, his facial features are more handsome and handsome, and he is a beauty that can make his debut as a star. Condense your pheromone, Alpha. After he finished speaking, he didn't stay any longer and left angrily. Su Yuzhou looked at his back and recalled his scolding, only to realize that he just seemed to have accidentally released the pheromone. If he remembers correctly, this seems to be a provocative act in A's view. Su Yuzhou touched his nose. Maybe the period is approaching, his pheromones are very unstable during this time, and they are often released without knowing it, and he himself can't learn how to control it. Even his own mother finds him a little distasteful, not to mention other alphas. Su Yuzhou sighed, bent down, and looked under the bench only to see a small glowing thing lying there quietly. He reached out to pick it up and put it in the palm of his hand to examine it. This is a drop-shaped pendant, the surface is polished to be smooth and bright, the color is blue and blue, and the depths are sprinkled with fine light spots. Like the starry sky at night, very beautiful. You can see that it is precious. Su Yuzhou quickly stood up, trying to catch up and return it to the gentleman, but Su Yuzhou, it's your turn. The nurse called him at the door. Seeing him standing still, she urged, What are you still doing? Come in. Su Yuzhou looked at her, then hesitantly looked at the end of the corridor. The figure of the man has disappeared from the elevator entrance. He thought for a while, looked away, held the pendant in his hand, followed the nurse into the infirmary obediently, and sat in front of the doctor with his backpack. The doctor retrieved his medical report from the system and checked it carefully. Su Yuzhou held the pendant and asked softly, Doctor, do you have his contact information for the gentleman who just walked out of here? Oh, you mean Mr. Su? What are you doing with him? After finishing speaking, the doctor looked up and looked at the young man in front of him suspiciously. The alpha who just turned 18 years old has a handsome appearance between a teenager and a young man a little childish, but not particularly childish. He has light chestnut hair, which looks fluffy and soft, with a slight natural curl, which complements his fair complexion and looks a little boyish. Su Yuzhou gives the impression of being clean and bright, especially the pair of eyes that seem to be able to smile, with an inexplicable affinity. Because of its own characteristics, Alpha is generally aggressive, and sometimes even synonymous with irritability and rudeness. But such aggression was not obvious to the young man in front of him. Of course, this doesn't make anyone suspect his gender. Mild and powerful, it is surprising that these two qualities exist in contradiction and harmony in young people. But. What day is today? 
In one day, I encountered two high-quality owls on the front and back feet. The doctor muttered. What's more troublesome is that the high-quality omega has to remove the glands. Thinking of this, the doctor felt that his head was big. At this time, the young alpha reached out. The pendant fell on the table and made a crisp sound. This gentleman dropped it, can you help him return it? Su Yu Zhou said. Hey? Oh. The doctor glanced at the pendant, nodded, put it in the drawer, and said casually, when Mr. So comes next time, I will hand it over to him. Then let's talk about you first. Dude, have you felt any changes in your body lately? Su Yu Zhou blinked, the doctor's tone. He suddenly became a little uneasy, and asked cautiously, Doctor, is there something wrong with my body? Knowing he had misunderstood, the doctor shook his head. Take it easy, it's a good thing. Under the doctor's explanation, Su Yu Zhou realized that he had become a top alpha. The hormone level of the human body tends to be stable after adulthood, and AO is further divided into three levels of inferior, ordinary, and high quality in medicine. Because the pheromone is very weak, beta is not further divided. Congratulations, lad. Su Yu Zhou was slightly stunned. High quality alpha means stronger and smarter than ordinary people and more talented in the field they are good at. The top people in this society, high-quality alpha accounts for the vast majority. Their contributions to society also allow high-quality alphas to obtain more resources. As for low-quality alphas, this may sound a bit harsh, but such people generally have some kind of defect or disease, and once diagnosed, will receive certain welfare subsidies. However, if such a subsidy can be waived, of course it is best not to. So, Su Yu Zhou always prayed that he was an ordinary person, but he didn't expect. Even once? But. He tilted his head and clenched his fists in confusion, I don't feel anything. Isn't it that high quality alpha is very powerful? He looks normal anyway. Take your time and watch for a while. The doctor said, judging from your physical examination this time. I am afraid that your period will be earlier. It was estimated that there are still half a month, and now it is estimated that it will arrive in a week. You have to prepare. Su Yu Zhou nodded nervously. The doctor smiled, take it easy, the first period should not mark the object, right? After all, he is only 18 years old and he has just come of age, and he is still a half-year-old child. Su Yu Zhou's ears were slightly warm and he pretended to be calm and shook his head. Although he has tried his best to hide it, the doctor still sees his shyness, which is a bit strange. This is the first time I have seen the shy alpha. After all, alphas of this age are basically full of blood and energy. As long as they see oh, they are easy to get bloody, or in other words, sperm worms go to their brains, and they can't control it at all. So when Su Yu Zhou just asked Su Jian, the doctor was suspicious. But now it seems that this child is very pure. The doctor clicked his tongue twice, and finally told Su Yu Zhou a few precautions, and then gave him a special inhibitor for Alpha, and sent him away. Su Yu Zhou politely said thank you, then left the infirmary with the order, went to the pharmacy to queue up to get medicine, and by the time he left the hospital, it was almost evening. He took a taxi home again. In the house, Lin Ziyi had already cooked a table of good dishes and was waiting for him, and Sol Lan read to him again, asking him to remember his father's goodness, and to give him advice when he was ill meals. Su Yu Zhou replied obediently, and when he was satisfied with the meal, he remembered what he wanted to tell them. When they heard that he was identified as a high-quality alpha, the Su family was naturally pleasantly surprised, especially Sol Lan who put down the tableware and chopsticks halfway through the meal, and excitedly called all the relatives and friends they knew. Friend. Su Yu, who was studying abroad, and Su Yu Zhou's sister, naturally knew the news immediately. She laughed happily and said she wanted to fly back to see him. Su Yu Zhou was an orphan in his last life. Even if he passed the college entrance examination, 
no relatives would congratulate him. Only the dean of the Welfare Institute congratulated him. Although he was born in the weird ABO world in this life, he is still very happy to have a complete family, parents who love him, and a sister who has a better relationship. Seeing them happy, Su Yu Zhou is also very happy. The Su family is very happy. Until, Su Yu Zhou mentioned that his period may be at least a week earlier, and then. He was kicked out of the house. Of course, before being kicked out of the house, Lin Zi thoughtfully helped him pack a change of clothes and prepared two delicious lunch boxes, and Sol Lan also personally drive him to the door of the hotel. Alpha's sense of territory is very strong. As the saying goes, a family can't accommodate two adult alphas, even their own children are no exception, especially their parents or AO groups. If you continue to stay at home and wait for the hot period to arrive, it may turn into a bloodshed. These are precedents. Although Su Yu Zhou can't imagine such a situation, he can understand it. However, when he pulled his luggage and got out of the car, and watched his mother drive away in her little broken car without saying hello, he couldn't help but feel a little sad. In the past life, he was also thrown at the gate of the orphanage like this, watching the black car get further and further away, and finally drove out of his life. The difference is that he is no longer the child who cries with tears and runs after the car. Ding dong as soon as the phone rang, Su Yu Zhou took it out and looked at it. Dad? The hot period will be more difficult, baby boat must cheer up although dad can't accompany you, he will cheer you up at home, underscore. Dad, we have reserved a beta nurse for you, who will arrive in about three days. You can ask him if you don't understand anything. During this time, he will help take care of you dad, if you encounter a problem that cannot be solved, be sure to call your home, don't carry it by yourself dad. Jojo will always be dad's favorite baby I have to say, having an Omega dad is so healing. Su Yu Zhou suddenly forgot his sadness. He called up the input method, echoed OK, then dragged his suitcase, happily walked into the hotel, and went to the front desk to check in. It's cool to stay in a high-end hotel, just go out and play in the summer vacation. Solan only booked a normal room for him, but this hotel is of high specification. Even the normal room is higher end than the average hotel, and of course the price is not cheap. And next, he will live here for a month. In the evening, Su Yu Zhou came out of the bathroom after taking a shower, took a bottle of coke from the refrigerator, and walked to the balcony while watching the night view while blowing the wind. The hotel garden below is lively, with open air parties over the pool. Su Yu Zhou drank coke and looked down to watch the excitement. Suddenly, his hand moved. Hey? That person is. Su Yu Zhou squinted his eyes, but still couldn't see clearly. After thinking about it, he took out his mobile phone from his pocket, called up the camera, and kept zooming in on the figure. In the camera, the black-haired man is holding a red wine glass in his hand, and is talking to two or three people next to him. He is so dazzling, even among the alphas, he is the most outstanding one. Isn't that Mr. Su? Su Yu Zhou looked at it for a while and finally determined that this is the fierce he encountered in the hospital corridor yesterday. He touched his chin. I am idle anyway. Why don't I remind him that his pendant is in the doctor's place? Recalling the scene where the doctor put the pendant into the drawer, Su Yu Zhou felt unreliable. In that case, shouldn't I call someone back to get it? said to return it to him next time, but what if I forgot? Thinking like this, Su Yu Zhou put down the coke, took the room card and mobile phone and went out the door. S Hotel Open Air Party In the lively and dynamic music, people kept jumping into the pool, frolic and screaming everywhere. In the hotel garden not far from the swimming pool, the music is quieter. It was undoubtedly a successful evening, and it seemed that everyone was enjoying the moment. Of course, Su Jian is definitely not among these people. Mr. Su is really young and promising. Yes, I often hear about President Su's deeds. I was fortunate to see it today. I must have two drinks with President Su. Su Jian, 
president of So Group. Only three years in office, he saved the precarious So clan from the brink of bankruptcy, and pushed him to a higher mountain again, becoming an existence that countless people look up to. When Su Qian appeared at the party, he naturally became the focus of everyone. Of course, after close contact, his gender still inevitably becomes a topic of discussion, especially since he also has the pheromone of the top Omega. At times like this, they often forget how ferocious the Omega in front of them is. Su Qian is very skilled. He once beaten the Alpha who dared to flirt in front of him to the point of being paralyzed. Now that person is still half dead in the hospital when an Alpha tries to harm an Omega, the Omega can take any action to defend itself. So, Su Qian doesn't even need to take any responsibility for this, and the family of the Alpha, other than swallowing the bitter fruit, dare not do anything to Su Qian. At this moment, the Alphas surrounding Su Qian were obviously overwhelmed by alcohol and pheromones. At first they knew how to restrain, but slowly, the pheromone released became stronger and stronger, and the competitive spirit in their eyes became more and more obvious. Indeed, Su Qian, who always looks indifferent and looks aloof, can easily arouse the Alpha's desire to conquer. Su Qian, who was in the center of the crowd, casually swayed the red wine glass in his hand, and finally pulled the corner of his mouth. Those who know him know that these Alphas will suffer. Su Qian. But at this moment, a cheerful voice sounded, I've been looking for you, I didn't expect you to be here. Ye Sheng came over and said to the brainless Alphas, I want to have a conversation with President Su, is that okay? Ye Sheng is the owner of this birthday party, since he said so, even if he was a little unwilling, no one took his face. Then let's talk. Mr. Su, talk to you next time when you have time. Su Qian was indifferent. After a few alphas left, Ye Sheng led him to an open place. On the way, he greeted others with a smile, and whispered to the man, Brother Su, thank you for attending my party, but if you are not feeling well, just go ahead. The Ye family and the host family are family friends. Ye Sheng and Su Qian played together from childhood to adulthood, and they have quite an appetite for Su Qian in character, and they are one of his few friends. Su Qian frowned and was silent for a while before saying, I'm sorry. Hey, no need to apologize, I'm already very happy to have you here. Who doesn't know that the president of Su's group is the most mysterious and hardly attends such parties? It really gave him enough face to be able to come here, otherwise those alphas wouldn't have been haunting him since the party. Ye Sheng continued, I know you don't like to attend this kind of party, so don't take my parents' words to heart, they also hope you are well. Su Qian nodded, I understand. It's nothing more than those words of urging marriage, at least the elders of Yi's parents just talk about it, unlike some people, they dare to ask Alpha to tag him directly, and they also euphemistically make him feel that he has a the benefits of. Remembering those unpleasant memories, Su Qian took a deep breath, shook his head and said, I'll stand for a while and leave, go ahead and enjoy your birthday party. Ye Sheng looked at him and made sure he was all right, then nodded with a smile and left with a glass of wine. Su Qian looked at his back, and watched him walk among the crowd. No matter who he was in front of, he seemed to be at ease and just right. This is Beta. The influence of Pheromone is very small, and she can keep a clear head at all times and is not subject to preferential policies, but she is not troubled by rules and regulations. Su Qian pursed her lips slightly. After a long time, he looked away, drank the red wine in his glass, turned and walked into the garden path. Halfway through, he suddenly stopped and frowned deeply. I was walking towards the door of the hotel, but I suddenly turned around and went directly to the hotel front desk to check in. Sir your presidential suite key. The front desk saw that something was wrong with him, and asked warmly, do you need an inhibitor? Su Qian took the room card, shook his head and said, no, I take it with me. Okay, do I need to take you back to your room? This is obviously an Omega who is about to enter a period of lust. 
if he attacks in public, the consequences will be disastrous. The front desk looked at him with some concern. Su Qian shook his head, I'll just take the exclusive elevator. S Hotel has only one top floor presidential suite, and it is equipped with an exclusive elevator. You need to swipe your card to enter. As long as he enters the elevator, it is basically safe. After he finished speaking, he stopped staying and strode towards the elevator. Su Qian did not expect that his period would break out at this time, obviously he had been given an inhibitor before going out to prevent it. Damn, those alphas! Su Qian couldn't help clenching his teeth, his eyes were full of fierceness. Of course, he also knew that this was not the time to take revenge. He kept his feet, walked quickly to the elevator, swiped his card and stepped into it, and quickly pressed the button to the top floor. The elevator door slowly closed in front of him. However, before Su Qian could breathe a sigh of relief, a somewhat familiar voice sounded, Wait, sir. Su Qian was stunned, looking at the young man who suddenly entered his line of sight, after regaining his senses, he quickly raised his hand to cover his mouth and nose. Ah, luckily I caught up. Su Yuzhou was lying on the elevator door, because he just ran over, he was still a little out of breath, and his speech was not smooth. But when he saw the man in the elevator, he still showed a relieved smile. The garden party requires an invitation letter to enter. After he was stopped by the doorman, he had to choose to give up, but he did not expect to be so lucky. On the way back, he happened to meet him in the hall. Because it was a little far away, Mr. Su seemed to be in a hurry to get into the elevator, so he had to run after him. Fortunately, he finally caught up with him. Just before he could explain, the man in front of him first covered his lower face, and then his deep and charming black eyes looked nervously behind him. Su Yuzhou heard someone shouting excitedly behind him without looking back. Where's that Omega? I smell it. Omega? Su Yuzhou was startled. He often reads the news and occasionally sees an accident caused by an Omega entering a period. Did he run into him? The idea just flashed, and before he could look back to watch the excitement, the man in front of him stretched out his hand and pulled him into the elevator, then frantically pressed the elevator's close button. Su Yuzhou stood beside him, through the crack of the elevator door, you could clearly see two or three alphas with red eyes, rushing towards him. The crazy appearance looked a little scary, but fortunately, at the last moment, the closed elevator door blocked the outside in time. Is this the Alpha who entered the period and lost his mind? Su Yuzhou thought like this, and then realized. Hey? Why does he feel a little hot? Immediately afterwards, he smelled an increasingly strong chestnut fragrance. What? Plop the man who pulled him into the elevator slid down against the wall, and there was a constant repressed gasp from the bottom of his throat. The voice was low and deep, listening to Su Yuzhou's ears, it made him feel like someone was scratching the tip of his heart with a feather, itching. Soon, the teenager shook his head, suppressed these strange feelings, and then squatted in front of the man and asked, Mr. Su, are you okay? At this time, Su Yuzhou didn't realize what happened, he just thought that this gentleman had a hidden illness. After all, he also went to the hospital yesterday. Su Qian opened his eyes and stared at him sullenly. Damn, it's Alpha again. He remembered, the coconut-flavored pheromone, and this familiar voice. It was the AI met in the hospital yesterday. As rude as those Alphas at the party. A pheromone belonging to a high-quality alpha, with a very strong domineering hidden in its gentleness, it is constantly eroding at this moment, making his body, which was already lustful, even more uncontrollable. Su Qian gritted his teeth, the only reason remaining supported him. He reached into his pocket with difficulty and took out the inhibitor he was carrying. Done. Su Qian felt a despair in his heart. Su Yuzhou was initially frightened by the man's eyes, but when he saw his movements, he looked down on the ground, and the kit clearly read Omega inhibitor, and he was stunned for a moment. Are you an Omega? 
looking at the man's state at the moment, and his own body that is getting more and more wrong, Su Yuzhou still doesn't know what's going on? The pheromone of the top omega came in waves, and the smell of chestnuts became more and more fragrant and sweeter, and even made him have the urge to throw the man in front of him. Su Yuzhou shook his head vigorously, forcing his consciousness to regain a sense of sobriety. If it goes on like this, something will happen. He hurriedly picked up the inhibitor on the ground, recalling how the nurse taught him how to use it. After unpacking, he neatly tied it to the back of the man's neck and pressed the injection. Injected into the body with a bit of a cool inhibitor, making Su Jian feel better. He opened his eyes involuntarily, looked at the Alpha in front of him somewhat unexpectedly, and looked at him seriously for the first time. He is very young, probably just coming of age. Light chestnut hair hangs down the side of his face, slightly curled, his cheeks are flushed, light gasping as if he had just finished a long run, grinning at him in relief at this moment, a spiky little tiger tooth was exposed. It's all right. He said so to him. The bright smile is like a light breaking through the dark clouds, with the fragrance of coconuts under the bright summer sun. Su Qian was in a trance for a while. At this time, a ding sounded. The elevator finally reached the designated floor, and the metal door slowly opened behind them, revealing the low-key and delicate door of the presidential suite. Su Yuzhou looked back at the elevator, then looked at the man sitting on the ground, and asked, Can you get up and walk? Under the action of the inhibitor, Su Qian's rapid breathing calmed down a little, he didn't speak. He pressed the ground with one hand and the wall with the other, trying to stand up by himself. Seeing this, Su Yuzhou didn't move him, got up and pressed the door button to prevent the elevator door from closing. The elevator is surrounded by smooth metal walls, Su Yuzhou raised his eyes slightly, and saw his flushed cheeks and bangs wet with sweat. Plop plop my heart beats so fast. This is clearly not right. He took a deep breath. I wanted to force myself to calm down and not be controlled by my body's instincts, but who would have inhaled more rich chestnut fragrance? The crimson on his face darkened. Su Yuzhou bit his lip, feeling as if his mind became less and less clear. Maybe the most correct thing to do now is to leave, but, he can't just leave people here, right? His situation is too dangerous. Su Yuzhou glanced at the door of the master suite thinking that he would leave when Mr. Su returned to his room. Plop at this time, there was a soft sound behind him. Su Yuzhou looked back quickly, and saw the man fell to the ground again. He was wearing a suit, his bow tie had been torn off by him, and two buttons of his shirt had been unbuttoned, revealing the wheat-colored skin inside. The man raised his head high, and his neck was dyed bright red. Because he was clenching the roots of his teeth hard, there were bulging cyan lines. He doesn't look ferocious, on the contrary, he is a bit more gorgeous and beautiful than the indifference and gloom in the daytime. Perhaps aware that he was staring too much, the man's eyelashes fluttered slightly, and he opened his eyes and looked towards him. A fierce look. However, combined with his repressed breath, this look doesn't have much deterrent effect at all. Su Yuzhou swallowed his saliva, stepped forward, grabbed his arm, and carried him on his shoulders. He wants to throw the person into the room immediately, and then leave quickly, otherwise there will be an accident. Although he didn't quite understand what would happen. Damn. The inhibitor has not fully worked, but his body, under the action of the other party's pheromone, has become less and less powerful. This has never happened. He has also encountered high-quality alphas, but their pheromones have never affected him so much. Is it because the period is more sensitive and special? Su Qian could not help but grit his teeth. Where's your room card? The youth's voice rang in his ears, and Su Qian was about to speak when a hot palm groped on him. This bastard. The alpha is the same. Click Su Yuzhou took the room card from his pocket, swiped the card in a hurry to open the door, and half carried him into the house. The voice-activated light in the entrance automatically turns on. He didn't even bother to take off his shoes, 
he carried the man and walked in, wanting to throw him on the sofa and leave quickly. The metal door behind him closed quietly and automatically after the two entered. The room was dark, the curtains were drawn, and only the sensor light at the entrance provided weak light. Bang in the darkness, Su Yuzhou could not see the road clearly, and when he tripped over something, he fell to the floor uncontrollably. Because of this accident, Su Qian also fell off his shoulder. In the dark room, there was only the heavy breathing of the two of them, and the aroma of chestnuts and coconut became stronger and stronger. Pop, the voice activated light in the entrance suddenly went out. The room was plunged into total darkness. It is probably the effect of the inhibitor. Although the body is still affected by lust, Su Jian feels that his dull and drowsy consciousness has finally recovered a bit of clarity. He quickly thought about how to get out of the current predicament, but heard a rustling sound around him, and then the voice of a young alpha. I'm leaving. Pop, the voice control light is on again. Su Qian squinted slightly and saw a backlit figure struggling to get up, struggling to get up from the floor. He pursed his lips slightly, watching the young man's movements, feeling a little strange in his heart. There is really an alpha, can you restrain yourself and turn away when facing an omega who is lustful? In front of her eyes, a young alpha's smile suddenly flashed. Su Qian let out a breath. At least, if he can leave by himself he will be safe next time. A figure flashed before my eyes. Su Qian's thoughts were interrupted. In the dim light, the figure who was about to leave suddenly turned and rushed towards him. Su Yuzhou no longer knew what he was doing. He smelled the sweet chestnut smell on the man, and only felt very hungry. He hugged him and felt very comfortable, but there was an inexplicable emptiness. I'm so sick. He murmured. Driven by instinct, the little tiger teeth pressed against the back of the man's neck, biting and rubbing gently. Su Qian turned his face away and tugged at the corners of his mouth mockingly. He just believed this alpha. However, what made him feel distorted and sad was that his consciousness was clearly awake, but he couldn't control his body to push him away, instead he became more and more relaxed, as if he was catering to him. Their pheromones are completely entangled. Alpha exists at the top of the food chain, and their pheromone has a natural suppressing force on Omega, among which high-quality Alpha is the best. Feeling the young man's teeth gnawing at the back of his neck, a thought flashed in Su Qian's mind. Maybe let him tag him temporarily. When he realized this thought, he suddenly froze, and then his eyes turned red for a while, and anger and shame were written all over his eyes. He compromised. Under the control of pheromone, he actually wants to break through the bottom line and let this strange alpha who has only met twice mark him? Even if it was only a temporary mark, the thought of such weakness made him feel an unbearable shame. Su Yuzhou couldn't detect Su Jian's anger and despair, and even because of the violent fluctuations in his emotions, he felt that the tempting chestnut aroma was even more delicious. He has completely lost his mind. Under the lure of top Omega pheromones, Su Yuzhou's period also broke out earlier. Hello. Su Yuzhou hugged Su Qian, muttered in a low voice, nibbling on the back of the man's neck with his teeth, because the taste here is the strongest. He felt that he should do something now, but he was very confused when he implemented specific actions he who doesn't even know how to control pheromone, how does he know how to inject his own pheromone into the Omega's body to mark it? Want to eat? The more you want to eat. Su Yuzhou swallowed, feeling so greedy. He hugged Su Qian and nibbled at him, and didn't take any further action even if he lost his mind during the period, subconsciously, Su Yuzhou still didn't know what he could do to a big man. Even if the other party is an Omega, the pheromone is full of temptation for him. However, Su Qian didn't know this. Intense anger and shame had engulfed him. Perhaps under the influence of this emotion, or perhaps the inhibitor finally took effect, his body, which was suppressed by the alpha pheromone, was so weak that his strength was strangely restored. When he realized this, Su Qian didn't even think about it, he grabbed Su Yuzhou's two wrists, 
and angrily turned around and pressed him to the floor. Bang! The cold and hard floor and the pain from the back impact finally brought Su Yu Zhou back to his senses. He opened his eyes slightly, looked at the man who looked down at him from a height, and saw the flaming flames in his dark eyes, the tip of his heart could not help trembling slightly. The man pressed his wrist hard to the floor, bent down and pressed down, his expression full of anger and sinister. Alpha, you want to dominate me too? Want me to surrender? Su Qian was already mad, then you can taste what it's like to be dominated and conquered. The injustices, oppression and grievances she has suffered because of gender for a long time have finally been fully vented through anger at this moment. Su Yu Zhou couldn't understand what he said, but what happened next really made him unforgettable. In the dark room, his suppressed cry soon sounded. The voice activated light starts to flicker on and off. What are you doing? The trembling cry sounded intermittently, Ha, it hurts, you take it easy. Ugh. In the end, Su Yu Zhou collapsed on the floor. Su Qian gasped softly. At this moment, his anger faded, and reason and calmness slowly returned to his body. After a long time, the man reached out his hand hesitantly and gently stroked the young man's cheek. The pulp of the finger touched the wet and cold water. He leaned down, the tip of his tongue tasted slightly salty, it was indeed the taste of tears. S Hotel's Top Floor Suite It was early morning, the tightly drawn curtains blocked the bright light, the room was dark. Only a small night light was on in the corner. In the hazy vision, you can see a bulge on the bed, it seems that someone is sleeping soundly. Um. Su Yu Zhou woke up from his coma and felt discomfort on his body. He wrinkled his face and struggled to sit up. Before thinking about it, the faint chestnut smell mixed with the smell of cigarettes came over. Su Yu Zhou looked sideways. I saw a light on in the corner of the room by the window. On the sofa, the dark-haired man rested his elbows on his knees and held a lit cigarette between his fingers. On the coffee table in front of him, the ashtray was full of burnt cigarette butts, probably his masterpiece. At this moment, aware of his gaze, the man looked sideways at him. He raised his hand and took a breath, then slowly exhaled the smoke. Awake! The memory of last night came to mind. Su Yu Zhou blushed. He was a little embarrassed and a little bit confused. Come here. The man's voice sounded again. Su Yu Zhou pursed his lips slightly, glanced under the quilt, he was wrapped in a nightgown, not what he imagined without clothes on. Two generations, not really eighteen years old, after this happened, he found himself quite calm. He sat on the bed for a while, and finally opened the quilt and got out of bed. The young man stepped barefoot on the cold floor, endured the pain as if he had been beaten, walked to the sofa opposite the man and sat down. What do you want to say? Su Yu Zhou said. Su Qian raised his eyes and looked at the unusually calm young man in front of him. Shame and anger were written in his eyes, but he was not as violent as he imagined. From last night until now, he always seemed to be breaking his cognition of Alpha. Thinking of what he did on impulse last night, Su Qian frowned slightly. How old are you? Su Qian looked up at the young man's slightly childish face and asked suddenly. Su Yu Zhou turned his face away and said reluctantly, 18. Su Qian has just grown up. However, past experience tells him that Alpha is a virtue regardless of age, and there is no need to keep much expectations of them. The special thing is just the alpha in front of me. Feeling that the man was looking at him without hesitation, Su Yu Zhou moved back. Su Qian retracted his gaze, lowered his head and squeezed the cigarette into the ashtray to extinguish it, watching the last trace of white mist rise from the extinguished cigarette. He didn't sleep last night, he sat here all night, and the ashtray was full of cigarette butts he left last night. You broke into my elevator last night. Su Qian said. Without this beginning, there would be no subsequent series of errors. Su Yu Zhou looked at him, I chased into the elevator last night, just to remind you that you dropped a blue pendant in the hospital corridor that day, 
and I put it at the doctor's place for you. I'm not very good at controlling pheromones. It wasn't my intention to leak the pheromone that day. I'm sorry for accidentally offending you. Su Qian looked up at him. This time, Su Yuzhou did not avoid his sight. The man's aura is very strong, and he is more intimidating than the alpha coaches he has come into contact with in school, especially his dark eyes, which seem to be able to read people's hearts. However, he didn't want to show weakness in front of him. Last night, we were all responsible. The two faced each other for a while, and Su Jian finally changed his tone. Su Yuzhou bit his lip, he really started it, and tore his clothes. Everything was so chaotic last night. Such an accident, he would only occasionally hear it in the gossip of the people around him, but he never thought that he would also become the protagonist in such an incident, and... The role of Ao is reversed. For you, the damage may be greater, I can compensate you. Su Qian said in a low voice. Although, I'm just defending myself. If he does not resist, he will suffer. Then just knock me out. Su Yuzhou whispered. Su Qian ignored him. Maybe his reaction was too extreme, but as an Omega who has been violated by an Alpha, should he still be rational and friendly to this Alpha? He was not a good person. If it wasn't for his out-of-control behavior under his rage, then the Alpha in front of him would wake up in prison today. He paused and continued, If you accept my compensation, then let's talk about the future. Next. Su Yuzhou was slightly taken aback, what's next? Su Qian looked at him and said that he had considered the decision of the night, in the next month, I hope to continue the relationship with you last night. You can mention whatever conditions you have. I didn't understand, what is, maintaining the relationship from last night. Su Yuzhou looked at him with confusion. Last night we... He suddenly choked, his face slowly swelled to the color of pig liver because of what he thought, what are you kidding? Su Qian looked at the angry and embarrassed young man, this request is a humiliation for any alpha, it is not surprising that he would have this reaction. I'm not kidding. He looked serious, I have my reasons, you just tell me if you want to. Bang! The door of the hotel room was slammed shut. As soon as Su Yuzhou returned to his room, he quickly took off his t-shirt and shorts, and rushed into the bathroom. Crash his with just a little force, there was a burst of soreness on his body, he couldn't help baring his teeth, and reached out and rubbed it in pain. Finally squeezed the shower gel and rubbed my whole body vigorously, then turned off the shower and walked out of the bathroom. After turning over a loose piece of home clothes in the suitcase and putting it on, she threw herself on the sofa while wiping her hair with a towel. As a result, the fall was another pain. Asshole. Su Yuzhou scolded in a low voice, lying on the sofa, gasping for breath with a wrinkled face. Su Jian's proposal, he naturally refused, and he didn't even bother to ask for the compensation he said. At this moment, the phone vibrated. He took a look and found that it was a call from Dad Su. Just like him, he answered the phone and decided to help, Su Yuzhou hesitated for a while, and finally watched the call cut off because no one answered. Missed call reminders appear. After a while, Papa Su's message came over. Dad, is Jojo still sleeping? Dad, although it's a holiday, don't sleep so late, the room your mother booked for you comes with three meals a day, remember to eat when you wake up Su Yuzhou took a breath pretended to wake up after a while, and then came back fine. But he didn't move, but continued to lie on the sofa, thinking about opening the takeaway software, and after placing the order and paying, the order he ordered was delivered in less than 20 minutes. I opened the plastic bag and saw what was inside two caddies of sugar-fried chestnuts. There is no way, since last night until now, he has been feeling so greedy, although he washed the body wash he still felt a chestnut smell on his body. The smell hooked him and made him ticklish. Thinking of this, Su Yuzhou's face became hot. He knew why he still had Su Jian's pheromone left on his body, probably because of this, 
although his period had advanced, he was still able to stay awake. According to the popular science education he received, the Alpha Passion period is very scary. The cycle is about a month, during which there will be intermittent attacks, each attack lasts at least one day, and when the attack occurs, it is almost driven by instinct, just thinking about doing that thing. Of course, injecting inhibitors can effectively solve this situation, but because he is just an adult, it is not recommended to inject overly effective inhibitors during the first period, so it will be more troublesome. And he obviously had a seizure last night, and he didn't take any inhibitor, why can he continue to act like nothing? Besides the talent, the only possibility is that he and Su Jian have something to do? Su Yu Zhou peeled the chestnuts and stuffed them into his mouth one by one. After eating all of them, he still smashed his mouth. Touching his stomach, feeling a little full, Su Yu Zhou turned on the TV variety show and reclined on the sofa to watch. Although it is a show that he usually likes very much, he can't watch it at all today, and he gets distracted from time to time. He pulled over the pillow, hugged him tightly, and curled up. Su Yu Zhou didn't know when he fell asleep. In his sleep, he could always smell the aroma of chestnuts. When he was woken up by the doorbell, he found that it was getting dark outside. Ding dong the doorbell rang again. Su Yu Zhou hurried over to open the door. When he saw the waiter of the hotel outside the door, a trace of loss appeared in his heart, but he didn't understand what he was missing. Hello sir. The waiter pushing the dining car called his attention. Su Yu Zhou came back to his senses, looked at the food on the dining car, remembered that Su's father had said that the hotel he booked was three meals a day, he didn't think much, and let the waiter into the room. However, the waiter handed him a bag before leaving and said, this is what Mr. Su said he would give to you in person. Mr. Su. Su Yu Zhou blinked, took the bag handed over by the waiter, glanced at the dining car again, and couldn't help but say, these are also what he asked for. The waiter smiled and nodded. Su Yu Zhou looked at him suspiciously, Su. He paused and suddenly remembered that he didn't know the man's full name. He pursed his lips and continued to ask, how could he know that I am in this room and ask you to bring things over? The waiter's smile froze. Then he said calmly, this is not very clear, please take it slow, sir, I will go first. Then he left Su Yu Zhou's room and closed the door for him kindly before leaving. Su Yu Zhou frowned, walked over and locked the door with a click, although theoretically, it is unlikely that he is an alpha in any danger, but... Didn't an accident happen last night? After locking the door, he walked back and looked at the luxurious dining car tangled, and finally couldn't help reaching out to open one of the lids. As soon as the lid was opened, the tempting aroma of the food permeated in an instant, causing Su Yu Zhou's stomach to growl. He subconsciously swallowed and realized how hungry he was. Su Yu Zhou opened the remaining lids again. In addition to seafood risotto, there are grilled steak, bacon and asparagus rolls, vegetable salad, corn bisque and black forest cake. Finally, he also saw a golden color, which was very tempting human creme brulee. For dinner, this is too rich. Grumbling the stomach sings the empty city plan again. Su Yu Zhou thought about it, but did not start immediately. He was a little confused. Although it was sent by the hotel waiter, he still felt unsafe. Even if there is no safety issue, what is the purpose of that Mr. Su bringing him dinner? Has he not given up yet? Thinking of this possibility, Su Yu Zhou's heart skipped a beat, and he couldn't help but reach out and touch his lower back. In addition to the lower back, after a whole day of rest, there is still a pain in the jump. He curled his lips and couldn't help but feel resentment towards Su Jian, although he later. It's really cool. It was painful to die at first, but at the back. Su Yu Zhou couldn't help but hold his forehead, forcing himself not to remember what happened last night. He picked up the bag specially handed to him by the waiter, opened it, and looked inside curiously. What is this? It looks like a box of ointment. Su Yu Zhou took out the medicine box, 
carefully unpacked it and read the instructions. Looking at it, the blush that had subsided on his face slowly reappeared. Yes, rub the medicine there. Although, according to the description, it should be used for oh. I'm quite skilled. Su Yu Zhou couldn't help but pouted, feeling a little sour in his heart. After a long time, he silently put the ointment in his pocket, and sneaked into the bathroom although he was alone in the room, he couldn't help but feel embarrassed. Crash the sound of water coming from the bathroom. After a while, Su Yu Zhou, who took a shower and put on the ointment, walked out of the bathroom. The medicine is cool and comfortable, but the position of use is a little awkward. Su Yu Zhou touched his nose, and the base of his ear became hot again. He shook his head, looked at the food in the dining car, and finally walked over, transferred everything to the table, and sat down to eat. I don't know if it was because he was too hungry. He ate all the dishes, and even felt only 80% full. When did he eat so much? Thinking that the doctor said that after he differentiated into a high-quality alpha, there may be some changes in his body, Su Yu Zhou calmed down again. At night, he was lying on the bed in the hotel, staring at the ceiling with white eyes, without any sleep. As soon as he closes his eyes, what happened last night will come to his mind. What I remember most clearly is the scene where he hugged the man and nod, and was finally pushed down on the floor by the angry him. He still remembers the man's eyes full of anger, in the dim light, like two fiery flames burning, so bright, as if to pierce him. Plop, plop Su Yu Zhou heard his heartbeat echoing violently in his ears. He rolled over, pulled the pillow and hugged him tightly. I don't know how long it took before his breathing became long again, and he slowly fell asleep. When he woke up the next day, Su Yu Zhou found that the back seemed to be completely healed, but to be on the safe side, he applied the medicine again. Don't want to go to the restaurant, he called directly and asked the waiter to bring breakfast. The waiter changed, not the one from last night. Watching the other party push the dining cart away, Su Yu Zhou stayed quietly on the sofa for a while, and finally couldn't help getting up. I rummaged through a set of casual clothes in the suitcase, put a casual set on my body, and went into the bathroom to look in the mirror to take care of my hair. Just as I was about to go out, the phone message alert rang. Ya yeah, Yulang, AU, the grades will be out tomorrow, which school are you going to apply for? Is it still the city? You should be able to go to any school with your grades. Su Yu Zhou glanced at him, put on the room card, and replied, while leaving the door. Although the period seems to be ahead of schedule, he currently feels fine, his mind is clear, and there is no inexplicable overflow of pheromones, so it shouldn't matter if he comes out for a while. In this ABO world, the education system is similar to his original. Because the passion period is usually after adulthood, and very few special ones will be one or two years earlier, so ABOs still go to school together before high school. After high school, they will be divided into ab schools and bo schools, or singles x schools. Anyway, AO should be separated to avoid accidents. The students here also have to take the college entrance examination. Although the study is very hard, but after being a social animal for a year, Su Yu Zhou still cherishes the time on campus. University He hasn't figured out where to go, but there is still time to fill in the application, so he is not in a hurry. Putting the phone back in his pocket, Su Yu Zhou entered the elevator. Looking at the elevator floor buttons, he squeezed his hands in his pockets slightly, and there was a little struggle in his eyes. Just as he thought it was better, he was about to leave the elevator and run back to the room when he raised his feet, the elevator door closed automatically and started to descend. Su Yu Zhou pursed his lips and stood still. The elevator stopped when it reached the fifth floor. The clean ant pushed the car into the elevator, smiled at him, and said hello. Su Yu Zhou also smiled back. However, when he saw her pressing the button on the top floor, the smile on his face froze, and his heart began to pound in his chest again. The palm in his pocket squeezed and loosened, loosened and squeezed, 
and finally when the elevator reached the top floor, he couldn't reach out and press the key of the floor of his room. The cleaning ant didn't think much, she pushed the car and walked out of the elevator, but the wheel accidentally got stuck. Su Yu Zhou helped the handle subconsciously. Thank you. Auntie smiled at him, then pushed the cleaning cart to the door of the general suite, but instead of ringing the doorbell, she directly took out the key card and opened the door of the general suite. As soon as the door opened, Su Yu Zhou could vaguely smell the faint scent of chestnuts. Just watching the cleaning ant push the cart in, he finally realized something was wrong and asked her, Auntie, Mr. Su who lived here yesterday. Oh, he just checked out, are you here to find him? Su Yu Zhou froze, shook his head, turned around in silence, and walked all the way into the elevator. The elevator begins to descend. The feeling of weightlessness is a little uncomfortable. Su Yu Zhou bit his lower lip, watching the number of floors gradually getting smaller, he suddenly thought of something, and quickly reached out and pressed the button of the next floor. Soon, the elevator reached the first floor, and he rushed out. Hotel Lobby Mr. Su Su Qian stopped, turned his head and looked at the Alpha who stopped him. He frowned slightly, and there was a hint of disappointment in his eyes. It's really you, Mr. Su. I'm Xi Gao, do you remember me? Xi Gao walked over to Su Qian with a warm smile on his face. It's gone. Compared to his enthusiasm, Su Qian seemed very cold. Although he does have an impression of Xi Gao, he is one of the few alphas who can make him look straight, but he is not in the mood to greet him now. Does Mr. Su have an appointment next? Xi Gao asked expectantly. But not waiting for Su Qian to answer. Yes, he has an appointment. A clear and smooth voice suddenly sounded, Su Qian paused and looked sideways. Su Yu Zhou came to the hall at some point. He was walking over quickly, wearing a simple sweater and jeans, with a pair of white sneakers under his feet, looking full of youthful vitality unique to young people. Who are you? Xi Gao looked at him warily. When facing the young man who was also an alpha, he lost the enthusiasm and friendliness just now, and was somewhat hostile. Su Yu Zhou stopped and looked up at Su Qian. He just ran over in a hurry, and when he heard their conversation, he blurted out on the spur of the moment, but after calming down, he realized that he didn't seem to have the position to say this. However, Su Qian slightly curved his lips. We do have an appointment. He said to Xi Gao, then looked at Su Yu Zhou, let's go. Then walked out of the hotel. Su Yu Zhou looked at his back, and had no choice but to nod with Xi Gao, and then strode to catch up with him. Mr. Su. At the gate of the hotel, Su Yu Zhou called out to him. Su Qian stopped and turned around. He stood with his hands in his pockets, and his well-fitting suit made him look extraordinarily shrewd and capable, and there was an inherent extravagance in his gestures. He raised his eyebrows and looked at Su Yu Zhou, and said, Have you changed your mind? S Hotel Entrance People constantly pass by the revolving door to enter the hotel. Occasionally, eyes will fall on Su Yu Zhou and Su Qian, and they will take a few glances before withdrawing. After all, they're just too good-looking and they seem to have become accustomed to the attention of others. Faced with Su Qian's question, Su Yu Zhou clenched his fists. He looked away and asked, Why do you know which room I live in? Su Qian shrugged. Maybe you can complain to the hotel. He did not deny that he obtained the information through informal means, and then looked at him and asked softly, Drug, have you used it? The fluttering words made Su Yu Zhou's ears warm again. He raised his eyes and glared at Su Qian with shame and anger written in his eyes. Su Qian paused. Seeing the young man's red ears hidden under the short hair, and the coconut fragrance that suddenly lingered, he pursed his lips and reminded in a low voice, the pheromone leaked again. Su Yu Zhou was stunned when he heard the words, and he was a little flustered to take back the pheromone that had spilled out unconsciously, but found that the coconut fragrance around him was getting stronger and stronger. He couldn't help but rush, 
that, I. Really not on purpose. The second half of the sentence was not spoken because come to my car and talk. Su Qian glanced at the crowd around and said in a deep voice. Before he went out today, he took another shot of the inhibitor, so it is not much affected by his pheromone now. What? Su Yuzhou looked at him suspiciously. Su Qian raised his eyebrows slightly, you came to me, not just to question, what method did I use to find out your room number? After he finished speaking, he turned around and walked towards the road. Su Yuzhou also noticed the attention of others at this time Alpha cast a hostile look at him, Omega avoided panic, only Beta was nothing. He gritted his teeth, and finally raised his foot and quickly followed behind the man. A black sedan was parked on the side of the road. When Su Qian approached, a driver got out of the car diligently and opened the door of the rear parking space for him. Su Yuzhou paused slightly and hesitated again. Just, not giving him a chance to run away, the man who bent down and was about to get into the car suddenly straightened up and looked back at him again. The man is dressed in a delicate and elegant dark black suit, with a male dog's waist and long legs, and his figure with perfect proportions is vividly outlined. He stood in the sun like that, so handsome and dazzling that it was dazzling. Su Yuzhou didn't know what others were thinking, but he, felt his heart skip a beat and the tip of his nose seemed to smell the strong aroma of roasted chestnuts again. This time he didn't back down, he walked over and got into the car together. The driver glanced at Su Yuzhou with a strange look Beta can also sense pheromones, not to mention that the top Alpha's pheromone is domineering and strong, even if he is B, he still vaguely feels a little bit of suppression. It's just that he didn't dare to say anything. As soon as he sat down, he heard his boss, who is annoyed by a, say, Lao Su, go and buy a pack of cigarettes for me. When did Mr. Su need him to buy cigarettes? He can't afford it either. Old Su knew that this was deliberately pushing him away, so he nodded graciously, drove the car where it could park, and got out of the car. After walking a few steps, I looked back. The man and the young Alpha were sitting in the back of the car, not only in peace, but even in harmony. Is the eldest young master finally blooming? Although the young man looks a little immature, a high-quality alpha is indeed a match. Lao Su muttered and walked away. In the back of the car, the two sat in silence. Because it entered the confined space, the strong coconut fragrance that was already domineering suddenly filled the entire carriage. Su Yuzhou's cheeks became more and more red. It seems that under his influence, there is also a faint scent of chestnuts wafting from the man beside him, which makes his throat feel tight and a little greedy. Su Qian hooked the bow tie with his fingers and pulled it loose, frowning uncomfortably because he felt suppressed. He wondered if he was crazy to let an alpha get into his car, and this alpha seemed to enter the period at any time. No inhibitors. He murmured. Su Yuzhou hummed softly and pressed the button with his finger. Crack kicked the window glass slowly lowered, and the fresh air suddenly blew in, which finally made him feel better. Su Qian looked at him silently. This alpha always seems to surprise him. In an airtight carriage, with a high-quality omega beside him, in the event of a attack, his choice is not to rush over out of control, but to open the window? This is also what makes Su Qian extremely disgusted with alpha. Why is the alpha in front of you different? Su Yuzhou was lying on the car window, taking advantage of the fresh air outside to calm down his hot mind, when suddenly, a scent of chestnuts lingered lingeringly behind him. What? Su Yuzhou hurriedly covered his nose, looked back at Su Qian, who was calm and composed, and couldn't help muttering, get the taste away. Su Qian looked at the panicked appearance of the young alpha and felt a little happy. The man's voice was low and charming. Su Yuzhou only felt the apex of his heart tremble slightly, and the chestnut smell from the tip of his nose was sweeter and more attractive, he gasped slightly, and his mind was already a little confused. I can't help it. He muttered. Can't help it. The space in the back seat of the car was not that big, but when the man approached again, 
Su Yuzhou felt as if he was drowning in a sea of chestnut fragrance. He finally reached out and hugged Su Jian, put it in his arms, and whispered, You are so fragrant. At the same time, his pheromone belonging to the top alpha was released recklessly, instinctively wanting to control the omega in front of him. Su Jian's breathing also became rapid. He can clearly feel that the effect of the inhibitor on him is getting weaker and weaker. Originally, as long as the inhibitor is used, the pheromone can be completely restrained, of course, it is difficult to release it again. And now, except that he is not weak, he is no different from the inhibitor. The young man hugged him and not on his neck like that night. Although still uncomfortable, perhaps the situation is still under his control, and he did not feel the extreme anger and disgust that he did that night. It was also so calm that Su Jian realized that the young man did not do anything other than nibbling at random and rubbing his hands restlessly. Su Jian was stunned. After a long time, he gently pulled the corner of his mouth. Did he really meet the legendary gentleman? Unfortunately, he is not. He grabbed the young man's wrist and turned him against the car window. Such a familiar posture and feeling made Su Yuzhou regain a sense of sobriety. What are you doing? He glared at him. You're having a blast. Su Jian relaxed slightly, but didn't let him go, try it and see if it works, just like that night. There are still doubts in his heart without marking, can this method solve the trouble of the passion period? If you don't understand it, try it out. Are you crazy? Here. Su Yuzhou panicked. He turned his head and glanced at the pedestrians outside, and said, It will be seen. Su Jian looked down at him, quiet but with a deep power. Su Yuzhou looked at his black eyes and slowly stopped struggling, his face was already full of blush. He kept his face away and insisted, What if I'm seen? Your driver is coming back soon. Watching the young man's pitiful appearance, Su Jian couldn't hold back, and reached out and touched his head. The soft and fluffy short hair is very comfortable to start. Then he released Su Yuzhou, leaned over to the driver's seat and pressed a button. All the windows of the car went up immediately, then he took out his mobile phone, sent a text message, and looked at Su Yuzhou again. The glass is specially made and we can't see us from the outside. Su Yuzhou's passion period became more and more turbulent, coupled with the constant invasion of pheromone belonging to Omega he finally couldn't help but pounce on the man again. However, it was quickly countered. I don't know how long. In the carriage, Su Yuzhou sat on Su Jian's lap, leaning against the back of the front seat. His face was flushed red, his chest heaving, and he was panting slightly, but his menacing passion had subsided. At this moment, his body is full of chestnut fragrance, mixed with the original coconut fragrance, there is a strange harmony. Su Qian's pheromone was also controlled. His neat shirt was a little wrinkled and messy, but compared to Su Yuzhou, his appearance was still well-dressed. This time it was daytime, and Su Qian clearly captured all the expressions on the young man's face, including pain and grievance, as well as joy and desire. This novel experience made him a little addicted. The comfortable feeling gradually faded, and Su Yuzhou finally regained his senses. He looked at Su Jian in a daze, and then recalled what he had just done with him, he couldn't imagine it was something he could do, but a strange feeling somewhere clearly reminded him that it was real. This passion period is too scary. Su Jian saw him regain consciousness, with a smile on his lips, and said softly, it seems that you have really changed your mind. Su Yuzhou he suddenly felt that this facetophis posture was very awkward. Su Yuzhou pushed Su Jian away, endured the discomfort and climbed back to his position, you said before that you have reasons to continue this relationship. Can you tell me what that is? In the carriage, the pheromones of chestnuts and coconut fragrance are mixed together, lingering and touching people's hearts. Su Jian tilted his head and looked at the young man. His lips parted slightly, asking him what, but he only noticed that his lips were full of moist luster, revealing a slightly gorgeous red. 
Su Qian never thought that one day he would look at an alpha like this, his throat tightened, and he felt a little thirsty. Mr. Su. Seeing that he didn't speak, Su Yuzhou couldn't help but look at him, and Su Qian had withdrawn his gaze and lowered his head to organize his clothes. Su Yuzhou watched him put on his belt calmly, thinking about what just happened, he couldn't help but blushed again, and turned his face away again. Su Qian. At this moment, he heard a man's voice. Su Yuzhou blinked and realized that this was his name. A modest gentleman. Hmm. Su Qian. Su Yuzhou chewed on the name, feeling very out of line with its owner. Although he didn't have much verbal communication with Su Qian, no matter how he looked at it, he didn't think Su Qian would be a humble and polite gentleman. But. It's strange. They've done such an intimate thing, had such a deep exchange, and he just now knows his name. Did he really do such an unreliable thing? Su Yuzhou frowned slightly, thinking of the passion period again. Yes, it must be related to this. He still clearly remembered that he just rushed towards the man uncontrollably. This was absolutely unimaginable for him in the past, and in just two or three days, he have done it twice. It's like taking some kind of legendary medicine. What's more scary is that you can remember all the details afterwards. Although he has been in this ABO world for 18 years, but because the concept of his previous life has been deeply influenced, Su Yuzhou has never understood such a thing as a passionate period. As a wise and thoughtful human being, how can he be completely controlled by his own body's desires and desires, and become like a beast? And now, he finally understands how naive he was in the past, and why adults are so nervous. But, regret? He glanced at Su Qian, but he didn't feel it. Even at this moment, he felt very happy and comfortable when he felt the pheromone entangled between the two. But if you want to keep going, you have to give me a reason, Su Qian. Su Yuzhou said seriously. Why do you want to continue, this relationship? Are you trying to support me? Speaking of the last sentence, his brow furrowed. This is not in Su Yuzhou's life plan. He admitted that the man beside him was very attractive in his eyes, and he also had a little fondness for him yes, he didn't find him disgusting, on the contrary, he was a little moved. Speaking of which, isn't it a bit humiliating to be bought off by a dinner and an ointment? But, they did show up when he needed it most. Also, Su Qian did not force him. This man is so good. Su Yuzhou felt as if he had fallen into his routine. Tell you it's okay too. Because of the long-term use of the inhibitor, I developed resistance to the inhibitor, and the period became very disordered. Su Qian's voice rang. Hearing that he really started to explain to him, Su Yuzhou quickly calmed down, looked at him, and listened intently. Generally speaking, the period does not come until adulthood, and it occurs about once a year. The cycle may not be stable at the beginning, but it will return to normal after two or three years. Su Qian has been using inhibitors since he was an adult. Since the first injection, the effect is powerful, and he will never let affect him. It's the same abuse of inhibitors, which led to his current situation. Before I went out that day, I actually injected the inhibitor in advance. Su Qian said, but at night, when I was stimulated by Alpha's pheromone, I still had a passion attack. Su Yuzhou remembered the scene of the party that day. He saw Su Qian talking with a few tall men upstairs, and at a glance he knew it was Alpha. So after the attack later, he ran into the elevator anxiously, but he was unlucky to chase in. Probably seeing what he was thinking, Su Qian also added, I have ordered a general set on the top floor, there is a dedicated elevator that can go directly, and that elevator also needs to be swiped to enter. Su Yuzhou's eyes dodged. Speaking of which, I really can't blame Su Qian for what happened that night. He protected himself very well. If it wasn't for him. I don't know. He still felt aggrieved, I just wanted to remind you that something fell into the hospital. Su Qian looked at him with a bit of novelty in his eyes. 
it can be said that none of the alphas he met since he was a child are not big eists. They are proud, strong, and arrogant. A sense of superiority. Su Qian reached out his hand hesitantly and gently rubbed the top of the youth's hair. The thick and soft hair is really comfortable to touch, and the young man didn't dodge immediately, but raised his eyes slightly and looked at him with a pair of dog eyes. Gentle, clear, and without the slightest aggression. Let him not consciously put away the thorns erected on his body. Su Qian withdrew his hand and said in a low voice, The pendant has already been brought back for me, thank you. Su Yuzhou was suddenly happy. He thought for a while and said, Your period is disordered and you are resistant to inhibitors, so you need me. He recalled what the man had just said try to see if it could suppress the period the way that night. And the result is positive. He didn't mark Su Jian, but their passion was suppressed in fact, he didn't know how to mark it, and he couldn't even control his own pheromones. Yes. Su Jian did not deny it. Su Yuzhou looked at him hesitantly and said, If so, you might as well find an alpha to temporarily mark it. The omega is not the same as the alpha. The omega in the phase can be relieved by injecting inhibitors and accepting markers. However, as soon as he finished speaking, he saw the peaceful man in front of him, his face suddenly cold. I cannot accept being flagged by anyone, Alpha or Beta. His eyes were cold and proud. I, Su Qian, will not become anyone's vassal or property. Alpha and Beta can inject pheromones into Omega's glands for temporary marking. After being injected with pheromone, Omega will develop emotions such as dependence, nostalgia, and even obedience to the owner of the pheromone. Although the degree is lower than the complete mark, this is something Su Jian can't bear. Su Yuzhou looked at Su Jian, and was fascinated for a while. At this time, Su Jian continued, In one month, I will have a gland removal surgery. I need you for this month. His period has been completely disrupted, and even if he is on an inhibitor, it may happen anytime, anywhere. During this period, he can also lock himself up, but that is too passive, who knows if there will be any accidents. When strikes, he has no way to resist. And now, he has a better choice. The two of them have just tried it, and it does work. If you're willing to help me, I won't treat you badly. You can raise any conditions, as long as I can do it. Su Qian said in a low voice, with a feeling of business. Su Yuzhou looked at him in surprise, glandectomy surgery? Wouldn't that be very harmful to the body? Su Qian glanced at him lightly. This is not something you need to consider, he said, I have told you the reason, and you should give me an answer. Su Yuzhou pouted, but calmed down, frowning and thinking, as if thinking about a huge problem. This is a real problem. Su Qian did not rush and waited patiently. Finally, Su Yuzhou said, I can promise you, but you have to listen to me. Su Qian frowned. Knowing that he was going to refuse, Su Yuzhou said, You just said that I can make any conditions. I can provide you with some financial assistance. Su Qian's complexion just softened, and it became cold again, as if a defense mechanism had been triggered. No alpha can order me, not even you. Su Yuzhou blinked, Order? Is it so serious? He looked at Su Qian, from just now, no, from the first meeting, he could feel that Su Qian had a strong hostility towards Alpha. He doesn't know what he's been through and can't empathize with it, but... I didn't mean to order you. Su Yuzhou thought for a while, then put it another way, or, my condition is, you have to promise me ten, no, twenty demands. Su Qian opened his eyes slightly, with a rare expression of disbelief on his face, you are too greedy, Alpha. One. Twenty. Three, no more. The man showed the face of a capitalist, tough and authentic. Su Yuzhou frowned, Mr. Su, please clarify, now you are asking me. Su Qian did not give in. If I remember correctly, you came to me today. Su Yuzhou choked, yes 
he did come to him today and got into the car with him. He pursed his lips. Just when Su Qian thought he was determined to win, he heard the young man say, Forget it, I'm going back. Then, he opened the door directly. Su Qian frowned deeply, but did not stop. He felt that the youth was playing hard to catch, and it was too immature to use such tricks on him. However, after the young man got out of the car, he waved at him, and turned around and entered the hotel without hesitation. Su Qian kept staring at him, but only saw his brisk footsteps and his back without looking back disappear into the revolving door of the hotel. Su Yuzhou really felt very relaxed. He is not short of money and needs to sell himself. Although he has a good impression of Su Qian, this kind of thing is very fragile, like a bubble, it may disappear with a poke. If Su Qian always had this attitude, he wouldn't be a tool for him, anyway, the technology is average. Thinking of this, Su Yuzhou walked faster. As soon as he returned to his room, he went into the bathroom again to take a shower, washed the remaining traces, and then applied the medicine again. It used to be all right, but now it starts to hurt again. Compared to him, his body is white and pure, if not for the chestnut scent that does not belong to him, I really can't tell what happened to him just now they never kissed or planted strawberries. The first mess was fine, but not this time. So Su Yu Zhou can be sure that Su Jian really only regards him as a tool to relieve lust, thinking of this, he can't help but curl his lips. Well, he is so rich, he can find someone else. Ding dong Su Yu Zhou just came out of the bathroom when he heard the doorbell ring. Did the waiter bring the lunch? He walked over and opened the door, but he didn't expect that the person standing outside the door was Su Jian. The man glanced at him then stopped, and said in a low voice with a bit of domineering, pack your luggage and follow me. Su Yu Zhou did not move. Although Su Jian didn't turn his head away, he kept paying attention to him from the corner of his eyes. Not only did he not respond, but he seemed to want to close the door, so he had to look at him and said awkwardly, I agree to your unreasonable condition, Alpha. Twenty requirements, I promise you but these requirements must not violate my principles and bottom line. Su Yu Zhou looked at him, grinned slightly, revealing a small tiger tooth. Good. The first request, don't call me Alpha again, call me Su Yu Zhou. Su Qian looked at the smile on the young man's face. For some reason, he suddenly remembered the soothing smile on the elevator that night after the young man gave him the inhibitor. At this moment, the light at the entrance of the room slowly hit him, softer than the light in the elevator that night, and more attractive to the eyes. Su Qian pursed her lips. He did not expect that the first request of the youth would be this. Su Yu Zhou. Of course he knows his name, he can even look up the room number, how could he not know his name? Looking at the young man's light maroon eyes like a flash of light, looking at his own reflection inside, Su Qian finally said, Su Yu Zhou. The man's voice was low and low, with a hint of hoarseness. When he read his name, Su Yu Zhou felt a sense of itching for no reason. He hummed, looked away from his eyes, stretched out his hand and pulled Su Qian into the room, and said, Sit down and I'll be ready. Su Qian was pressed down on the sofa. He didn't move either, his black eyes stared at Su Yu Zhou, watching him busy in the room. This is a small single room with a simple layout, a bed, a sofa, and a dining table. The decoration is simple and clean. Follow up. Su Yu Zhou just took a shower, wearing only a loose home clothes, the hem of the clothes covered his thighs, revealing two white and slender legs. Occasionally bending over, making the hem of the clothes move up slightly, and the light blue fat at the bottom is looming. Su Qian just sat like this looking at the young man's dress, dangling, dangling in front of him, he was inexplicably hot. He pursed his lips slightly, looked away calmly, and reminded, do you want to put on your pants first? Su Yu Zhou was folding clothes by the bed, when he heard this, he turned to look at him and then at himself. After all, it's still summer, so it's cool and comfortable to wear it, 
plus two big men, there's nothing to avoid, right? Su Yuzhou didn't realize what was wrong at all, let alone that they were now alone and widowed in the same room. But he still nodded and said, Oh, okay. You have to change your clothes anyway. Su Yuzhou quickly grabbed a pair of pants and put them on. After thinking about it, he turned his back again, took off his home clothes, grabbed another shirt that was more suitable for going out, and shook the collar while preparing to put it on. Su Jian, who was sitting behind him, opened his eyes slightly. He didn't expect that after the young man put on his pants, he took off his shirt again, exposing his entire back in front of his eyes. To be honest, youth is not a thin body. After all, he is an alpha, and he is 1.85 meters tall, but his skeleton is small and his muscles are lean. There is a sense of power. His complexion was fair and his back was curvaceous and clean, as transparent as his people. Seeing how he looked like no one else, Su Jian frowned. Su Yuzhou shook off the folded shirts, put them on neatly, and suddenly heard a man's voice from behind, you know what? He blinked, turned around subconsciously, and saw the man standing behind him at some point, and when he turned around, he almost got close to his arms. Su Yuzhou stepped back subconsciously, trying to open the distance between the two, but his knees hit the edge of the bed, so he sat down and had to look up at Su Jian. Know what? He blinked, confused. Of course, he didn't realize that although he was wearing a shirt at the moment, but the buttons were not fastened, and the white and delicate skin under the clothes was vaguely visible, A and D. Su Jian looked down at him condescendingly. The young man's eyes were filled with doubts and days, and he was frank, as if he didn't think there was anything wrong with what he just did. What are you doing? Su Yuzhou is really confused, what do you know? Su Jian didn't speak, he bent over and leaned over, two strong arms supported Su Yuzhou's side, and the two were almost nose at nose. Su Yuzhou stared. At such a close distance, the chestnut fragrance mixed with the faint coconut smell almost drowned him. He was not used to his approach, so he leaned back and put his hands on the mattress for support, so that he would not fall down. Su Yuzhou held his breath, but he could still feel the pheromone surging between the two. Su Qian stared at him and said softly, You really don't understand. He said, An alpha who undresses in front of an omega without consent will be beaten. Su Yuzhou. Ah, he forgot about Ao again. Looking at the man's dark eyes, Su Yuzhou swallowed, citing Su Qian's hostility to Alpha A and D. Glancing at the bulging muscles in his chest, he saw that it contained incredible power, maybe Shukian really beat Alpha before. Su Yuzhou's heart was beating like a drum, just as he was about to admit his mistake, he saw Su Qian glanced at him lightly, and withdrew the hands on his side, and then... He lowered his head and buttoned his open shirt buttons one by one from top to bottom. Su Yuzhou bit his lip slightly and did not dare to move, but his eyes were involuntarily attracted by Su Jian's hand. His hands are really good looking, with well-defined knuckles, slender and powerful, and when they help him button up the buttons one by one, they have an inexplicable beauty. Plop plop the beating of the heart became violent. Su Yuzhou held his breath but when the man helped him button the last button, and then looked up at him, he finally broke. As soon as his arms softened behind him, he just lay down on the bed. Su Qian didn't know why he would help him button up the buttons. This kind of behavior with a sense of service was something he could never do before, but just now. He did it so naturally. However, looking at the abnormal red cloud on the young Alpha's face, he suddenly felt that the awkwardness in his heart disappeared. Seeing Su Yuzhou lying on the bed, don't look away from him, Su Jian simply bullied himself up and put one hand on his face, forcing the young man to turn his head to face him. Su Jian, I hope that in the future, at least for the next month, you will be able to control yourself and not do the behavior just now in front of other Omegas. Speaking of the last sentence, the tone is particularly severe. Su Yuzhou looked at his serious black eyes, and said in a ghostly manner, Is it okay to be in front of you? 
Su Qian. After Su Yuzhou asked, he blushed first, but his face was already very red, so he couldn't see it. I see, I'll pay attention later, he remedied. Su Qian looked at him deeply, and did not continue the topic, but said, Your pheromone has overflowed again. Su Yuzhou was startled. He sniffed his nose, and sure enough he smelled the rich coconut fragrance again, but it was a little different from the episode of eroticism, after all, they had just experienced that. Pheromone, he really doesn't know how to control it, he also asked Solan and his sister who is also an alpha, but they all said that it is innate to everyone instinct. However, he doesn't have this instinct, and he can't even tell the gender of ABO from the pheromone. Su Yuzhou gave up treatment a long time ago, but recently Su Qian always said this because of this, which made him a little embarrassed. Alpha's pheromone will make Omega feel suppressed. Although he has never experienced that feeling, Su Qian definitely doesn't like it. So, Su Yuzhou stretched out his hand to push the man away and said, Go out and wait, I'll be fine soon. Su Qian glanced at him, thought about it, and nodded you as soon as possible. Then, he really lifted his foot and walked out of the room. Su Yuzhou shrugged and started folding clothes again. In the corridor, Su Qian touched his pocket, but did not touch the cigarette. He pursed his lips slightly, and finally he could only lean against the wall and stare at the wall lamp opposite him in a daze. He still has coconut-scented alpha pheromones on his body. I don't know if this is the reason. At least, not as strong as the first smell in the hospital corridor that day. After about five minutes, the door next to him opened with a click, and Su Yuzhou walked out dragging his suitcase. You can go. The young man looked at him with a shallow smile. Su Qian didn't speak, looked at him, then walked to the elevator, waited for the young man to come in, and then pressed the button on the first floor. Seeing this, Su Yuzhou blinked. Are you going to check in? We don't live in a hotel. Su Qian whispered. Ah? Why? Su Yuzhou was puzzled. Since they decided to maintain that relationship, the two of them must live together. Too dirty. Su Qian said, with a hint of disgust in his cold voice. Su Yuzhou is speechless. Although the hotel is not very clean, the sanitary conditions of a high-end hotel like S Hotel are still good. He had to ask, where do you live? Su Qian looked down at him and replied, my home. S City Hilltop Villas. Su Yuzhou got out of the car, stepped on the green grass, and looked up at the big villa in front of him. Although he knew that Su Qian should be rich, he didn't expect to be so rich. However, when he and Su Qian entered the house, they found don't you have a babysitter here? Su Yuzhou asked strangely when he looked at the empty and deserted house. Even if the family is away, there should be a nanny butler, right? Isn't this the standard for rich people? Su Qian took off his suit jacket and hung it on the hanger, I don't like having outsiders at home. He turned on the air conditioner and other equipment, then opened the refrigerator, took out two bottles of mineral water threw one of them to him, and he also unscrewed the bottle cap and took a sip. The part-time worker will come to clean at seven every morning, so you don't have to worry about hygiene. Finally he said, come with me. Su Yuzhou took the mineral water he threw, and didn't drink it if he didn't feel thirsty, but held it in his hand and felt very comfortable. Seeing the man lift his feet to the corridor, he hurriedly dragged his suitcase and followed him obediently but he couldn't help but murmured in his heart. Since you don't like having outsiders at home, why bring him back? Is he not an outsider? The two entered the elevator and came to the third floor. Su Qian led him into the guest room and said, you will live here in the future. Su Yuzhou sighed and looked up. Although it was a guest room, it was indeed much larger than a hotel room. He thought he would live with Su Qian, but he didn't expect to have a separate room, it was a surprise.